Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video, the Sony ZV-1 and how to edit and color grade photos from the Sony ZV-1 in the easiest way possible. Trust me, if I can do this, you can do it. My name is Vic Barry and for techniques, tips and thoughts on all things video, please consider hitting subscribe, especially if you find this video useful. While this is my workflow, this could work for you. If anything, it's a good starting point until you develop your own style. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to hit auto. Basically, I'm hitting auto because it gives Lightroom an idea of what's going on in the picture and it has a best guess at how to make the picture look good. So because this was shot raw and that's hugely important, these are all going to be raw photos that you shoot with the Sony ZV-1. We can see that we've gone from a pretty dark picture to something now that we've got all the shadow detail back and there's no nothing is lost because if this was a JPEG, it would be gone. It's, it's either like all dark or all bright or it's just no. So when you shoot raw, you can bring back highlights, you can bring back shadows and basically raw photos takes the most out of the camera it gives the optimum sensor quality it gives zero compression zero color artifacts look just shoot raw okay don't be afraid of it shoot raw you will get better pictures so next step that I like to do is I take a look at the actual color profile so I'm going to select browse I'm going to go with modern and I'm going to take a look at either maybe modern 4 or modern 6 now, this isn't the be all to end all. This is a starting block for you to start and then we work from there. So I'm going to go with modern six and then I'm going to go up to profiles. I'm going to tap out of that and then we're going to start with light. So really simply to explain exposure is how bright or not bright the picture is. Contrast adds contrast or takes it away. Highlights, really important and shadows are really important, especially when you're shooting in RAW. So highlights are the bright parts of the image. So we can see here, it's the actual lights that are the brightest parts of the image. And then the shadows are the dark parts of the image and everything else then in called midtones. Simple, understand? Everybody understand? Good. So let's look here and see how things are. So for me, this is pretty okay. I think the shadows we wanna get a bit more brightness in so we can see more of the scene. Also our whites will affect the, the brightest parts of the actual scene. So I'm gonna bring these down to about minus four. And of course the blacks will affect the black parts of the picture. So if we raise this up, we get a little bit more detail. But of course, when you start raising shadows, you can get a little bit of noise. So keep that in mind. But if you do get noise, I've got a way to take that out as well, all within the app. So I'm looking at this going, yeah, it's, I'm kind of liking it. Next step is color. So color is where you can really start defining your style and figuring everything out about what you like and what you don't like. And the easiest way to do this is just start pushing sliders around. For me, I really like the kind of the orange and teal look, teal and orange, it's a cinematic look. I just like that, that's me. And in this photo, we're gonna do it that way, but the idea of what I'm doing is the exact same no matter what look you like. The temperature here, this is how warm or cold the picture is. This was shot at night, so generally the rule of thumb was, it's probably gonna be cold, it's December. So I'm gonna leave that there about 2,500. Our tent, we can put a tent on the picture. Now the vibrance and the saturation, if you've seen any of my grading videos, you know that vibrance affects the reds, the greens, and the blues, and saturation affects kind of all the colors in the picture. So I'm leaving these as is for now, but where the real magic happens, especially in Lightroom, is in color mix. So this is where you can select a color like blue and we can make it teal or not. It's awful. So subtle, here's the tip. Subtle changes, small little changes make the biggest impact. So that's our hue. So we're shifting the blues a little bit there. The saturation, of course, this is how colorful it is. And then the luminance is how bright or dark the whole thing is. And again, push these sliders around, just push them around. So next one, yellows. I want to push the yellows a little bit more orange. We want to increase the saturation a little bit. We can adjust the luminance again and you can see exactly what you're affecting and you can only push it so far by the way before it all falls apart and then the orange i'm just going to make these a little bit redder increase the saturation so we've gone from the original picture to this in like what look at the time on the video like we're talking seconds here okay maybe a minute we've done the light we've done the color the next thing is the effects now this is where you can really start to make your picture pop clarity helps with the clarity of the picture or you can take it away and I think a good kind of rule of thumb for clarity basically is, you know, 15, 20 max. Anything higher and it's like, it just looks a bit ugh, weird. The dehaze takes away any haze or like low flying cloud maybe. So you can really push this, but again, subtle, small changes. 
and then the vignette adds a vignette if you want but don't add a vignette do not whatever you do do not use the vignette in Lightroom I've got an amazing tip that will take your vignettes to a whole new level and that's coming up momentarily and a vignette will help the viewer's eye into where you want it to focus on and make the picture really pop texture if we want we can add a bit more texture but I think the picture is kind of pretty decent as it is we can add grain if we want now on the detail this is where you can add some noise reduction this is where you can reduce some of the noise in the picture it's not going to fix everything but generally if you've got a little bit of noise bring it up 18 20 and you have color noise reduction as well because around the colors you can get all different types of noise especially when you're kind of pushing shadows and exposure a little bit so you can apply that or not and see how it works out and that's all it is seeing how things work out and then optics we can remove chromatic aberration which is all kind of weird things around colors sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't again it depends on what you're shooting and then if you've got a lens which every camera does Vic enable lens correction because some lens will have a little bit of distortion this profile for the Sony ZV-1 is not in Lightroom yet for some reason so it doesn't have any impact whatsoever but as we can see there is no distortion here so now we've got our picture pretty good so let's say we want to post this on Instagram you're like Vic we can post that on Instagram but it's going to look wrong because of course it's in the wrong format so Instagram pictures are really five by four or four by five, but to get the most out of Instagram posts, it's really, you really gotta have it vertical because it's taking up most of somebody's phone or screen. So what we need to do is go to the crop and then we gotta go to aspect and the Instagram ratio five by four. And we're going, okay, that's gonna fill the Instagram feed. But what if we wanna rotate it to fill it even more? Tap. So now we're working with less of the picture. It's zoomed in, it's cropped in, but we can work within this and make things really epic. And I've got the pop tip coming as well, by the way. So we can move this around here. So composition, if you're into the whole rule of thirds thing and every rule is made to be broken, with the lines are, something needs to be happening where the lines are predominantly intersecting. That's where they're drawn. I tree is just off center and then we've got a light. So there's kind of, it's broken up into tree and there's a little bit of a triangle going on. Yeah, bluff talk. I'm gonna crop this in a little bit more. I'm gonna bring it down so we're looking at the statue, which is Sonia O'Sullivan, famous Irish Olympic runner from where I live. Obviously you knew that, right? Yeah, of course. All right, let's select done. And this is the image that we are working with. I really like how this picture is looking, right? But I'm going to the statue, there's parts of it a little bit dark. So how do we fix that? And don't worry, how to make the best vignettes ever is coming. But how do we kind of make the statue pop a little bit? Well, there's a thing called selective editing within Lightroom. It's also in Photoshop, it's in a ton of apps. So I'm going to hit selective editing. I'm going to hit the plus symbol here. I'm going to hit this little brush. And remember where you found this because we're going to use it again for the vignette. So I'm going to select the size of the brush. We don't want it too big because we're going to paint in the statue what we want to pop. And then the feather, how smooth or how not it is. So we're going to leave the feather around 31%. That'll work right. And then we're just going to start painting in the dark parts. Doesn't have to be really accurate. You can move it around by selecting the little diamond and I'm going to do the leg here. And of course, this is done with an Apple pencil, but you can use your finger, right? Absolutely, or a stylus. So now we're going to go back into the light. And if we make any changes to this, it is only going to affect the parts that we've painted. So I want to bring the shadows up in this a little bit. I want to bring the exposure up just a smidge. So we're adding some details. We can also bring up the blacks if we want. And you can see this is where it starts falling apart because you're pushing it too much. But we are making a difference. And of course, anything, color. You can change the color if you want. But because there's a lot of kind of blue there, we can add some cooling and make the statue that little bit cooler. We can select done. And now the final tip to make this thing really pop. Again, we are in our selective tool hit plus and now we're going for a graduated filter and what this does is gives us a graduated filter so we can select the exposure so what we're doing is building the vignette to point at the statue i'm going to select another one here we go let's bring up the filter again let's bring down the exposure you can't really overdo this so be careful and then we'll do one more to push in from the side because that kind of building there is a little bit on the bright side let's bring that down and now we can see we've got a focus on the statue and a focus on the tree. Select done, and you're good to upload. Now, there is one thing 
Before I tell you what it is, have you noticed it? If you've noticed this thing that's a glaring problem in the picture, type it in the comments below right now. I'd love to know what you guys have spotted this. If we zoom in, we have got a lamppost coming out of her head. It's not coming out of her head, but you get the drift. So we can remove this. Now we could export this, put it into Photoshop and do all that kind of thing, but you can do this in Lightroom. So this is a super bonus advanced tip. I'm gonna select the healing brush. We're gonna select her size. So I'm gonna make it around this size. We can add a feather if we want. And then we're just gonna start painting over the lamppost. And then we can start moving things around and we've removed the lamppost, but there's still one or two parts that are a bit, whoa, let's fix it. And then all we gotta do is the exact same thing again. And we can move the second one around and basically that's gonna put in whatever it's highlighting. So let's get a piece of sky done. And that's it. And in just a couple of minutes, we've gone from this to this. Now, let me know if you found this complicated. I know you didn't because this thing is easy. There's a video up here that you guys are absolutely going to love, especially if you've got the Sony ZV-1. Hit that and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, don't stop fighting for yourself. I'm too far. Throw the pen. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is only 135 bucks. One, two, three.